Greetings, internet. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, what day is it? It is Wednesday, also known as Valentine's Day. Last night, I made the most delicious roast. It is currently morning. I am dressed and ready to go to hot yoga. I'm going to Core Power. You guys know I am newly very obsessed with Core Power hot yoga. I can't put my finger on exactly why I'm so obsessed with it. But it's one of those things where I, I wake up and I know I have to go to hot yoga and I'm not like dreading it. I'm excited to have the time in this hot room, sweating, knowing that I'm working very hard and making myself proud and all the things. And I'm really sore the next day. And it's like an hour of no phone time. I don't need to do anything for anyone else. Like no one's expecting anything of me. Even the instructor, I almost just said professor. The instructor of the class is like, go at your own speed, do what you need to do, like listen to your body, namaste, all that stuff. And I'm just like, I'm into this, I'm into so it. So anyway, I'm going today to the sculpt class. That's the only one I've done so far. They have a bunch of other ones. Like you can do like actual, more actual yoga classes, but I do a mix of yoga and weights. It's called sculpt. And I guess it's not just yoga and weights there's like other stuff there's like a little bit of cardio in the middle but like literally two minutes of cardio and the girl that i like going to she usually sets the cardio part or whatever you call it to like kelly clarkson what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and you're just like doing jumping jacks and i'm like yes this is my these are my people so i'm going through that this morning it is also valentine's day so i have a bunch of things to post today that i've been planning on posting today and then Later, I'm doing a little date night with Jack, of course, a Valentine's Day date night, my first ever one with a guy. I've done a ton of like Galentines and friend things on Valentine's Day that I look back on fondly, but I've never done a romantic evening on Valentine's Day and I'm interested to see what he has up his sleeve. I have a few things to post and very excitingly, I actually last night just finished my podcast artwork design for my new podcast that's coming out in March. And this is fully a solo passion project. I haven't like really even discussed it with many people. It's a reboot of my old podcast where it was, you know, kind of a little all over the place, to be honest with you. Thick and Thin was very all over the place. It started out as a spoken diary of sorts, and then it kind of escalated into history and stuff like that, like stories from history. So I decided to pause it when I felt like it was just like getting out of hand and there wasn't any organization or planning. And I felt like I was with an agency at the time or I'd signed with a network for that. And they were kind of stressing me out. <laughs> like I just didn't feel right about it. Like in my gut, it didn't feel right. So then I put it on pause or actually I just canceled it all together and then I found myself missing parts of it like missing the storytelling and stuff so I ever since then have been working towards rebooting it with a new name and a new kind of structure a little bit not too crazy new but something I feel more comfortable with and yeah like I hired a researcher to help me so all my facts are right and I've been working on writing stories and working with my researcher and creating the art. And I just picked the music tracks last night as well, like the intro outro music. So I'm very excited. Oh my God, it's just like, feels so good. It's like scratching that itch of something new and a new project that's all mine. And no one knows, like no one knows what to expect really aside from me. It's very cool. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> that's coming. So if you guys like hearing stories, you don't even need to be a history buff. You don't need to know the dates and facts and figures of history. You don't need to know all the presidents or, you know, when the wars were, you just need to appreciate a good story. And that is what I'm hoping to bring. So anyway, this is like a long winded introduction to this video, but I'm just telling you guys what's on my heart and a passion project of this sort is something that I love to talk about. So anyway, I'm hydrating extra because hot yoga, you need to hydrate so much. And I actually have in here, I wanted to show you guys this because it's been a lifesaver. This is not sponsored. This is Noon, N-U-U-N, Endurance Hydration Drink Mix during sweat. And it's really good and it's the lemon lime flavor. Yeah, it just like gives you that extra hydration. It's kind of similar to like liquid IV or something like that, but 
um, my trainer was talking about it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try that and I'm obsessed with it. Like, I, I look forward to this. I look forward to the yoga, but also drinking my lemon lime <laughs> pre-workout. Like, it's just, it's strange when you become an adult and you look forward to weird things, like putting yourself through a strenuous activity <laughs> of like working out. I don't know, it's like, it's a weird, it's the endorphins. I'm chasing the endorphins. It's a great day to sweat and then drink wine later. <laughs> so I totally forgot to tell you guys where my outfit is from, and I feel like I might get some questions about that. So my top is Revolve, and I'm gonna link it down below. I don't remember exactly which brand, and I like can't look at the tag right now. I think it's like 437 or something like that, but I could be wrong. So this is Revolve, and it's actually very supportive, or not, I wouldn't say supportive, it doesn't budge, like it stays in place really nicely, which is good for yoga and then these leggings are from Story, S-T-O-R-I and I feel like they're the perfect leggings for this type of activity. Like I have some others that I love from Aloe, from Lulu, etc. And I feel like when I do like a sit up or something, they roll down and these do not do that. Like they stay perfectly in place. They're not super, super compressing if that makes sense, but I don't really care about that. When I'm at yoga, I'm like, whatever, you know, let it all do what it's doing as long as it stays where it needs to stay. So yeah, that's the outfit. And my socks are aloe, but I'm gonna take those off. I go barefoot in there. I'm just gonna pop my Uggs on. And I got this, actually I got this long sleeve shirt. I hated how much I have to clean the inside of my puffer coat because I sweat and then like I put the coat right on over top. So a bunch of you guys suggested I start wearing shirts. <laughs> which is, you know, very much common sense, but I just didn't think of this before. So I don't wear this like during yoga, I just put this on before and after, so there's like a barrier between my coat and my body. So this one is perfect, it's from Beyond Yoga. So yeah, that is the outfit, I'll link everything down below, and now it's time to sweat. So I just left hot yoga, I'm feeling great. So all the music that she played during class, each teacher plays different music, like whatever they want. And she did a Valentine's Day themed playlist, which was so cute. So anyway, now I'm gonna go home, probably eat a snack, shower for sure, wash my face, and then get to work. So I just heated up some stew leftovers. I will say this is a huge portion. I might not finish this, I probably won't. I'll probably save the rest for like a snack later, but I think honestly stew is the best the second day. So I'm very excited to eat this and then get cracking on work. So I've been very busy with work this afternoon. I just made myself a plate of apples. I honestly was just craving them today. Mm, honey crisp and a little cup of coffee because I'm in the afternoon slump. I feel like between the hours of like 2.30 and 4.30, I get so tired and I need my second wind. Right now I'm finishing up a creative concept for a brand. A lot of times a brand will ask you to send them a creative concept of what you intend on creating before you do so they can approve it. And so I'm working on that right now for a whiskey brand actually that I'm working with fairly soon. Honestly, we're getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start getting ready for Valentine's Day dinner. My hair is drying pretty nicely. I need to 
curl it or wave it or do something to it and then of course my usual glam i think i'm gonna wear a polka dotted dress but my eczema has really been flaring up today on my arms and i'm kind of self-conscious about it so i don't know if i'll maybe opt for a long sleeve dress instead i don't know we're gonna figure that out anywho we're gonna wrap up some things and then we will get ready and go to dinner with jack i think he's actually coming over here before and then we're gonna go together, so. All right, so if you guys hear something in the background, it's my air purifier doing its thing. I've been using it for my eczema. So the dress I'm wearing tonight for V-Day is this Reformation number, polka dots, tights, and I can't decide on the shoes. I have this pair of, what are these called? Um, ballet flats on but i might do a little switcheroo and do a boot instead but i love this dress i have to say it is extremely flattering the waist like the neckline i'm obsessed with it so we'll see about the boots i'm gonna ask jack what he thinks but i do have some jewelry i want to show you guys so i have some new jewels from brinker and eliza i believe it's a mother daughter duo brand i think it's yeah mother daughter and i've been shopping at brinker and eliza for years like i think i got my first piece five years ago maybe so i got this locket necklace oh i think it's backwards <laughs> let me try that again we have the pearls and this gorgeous rectangular locket that i just I'm obsessed with so I got this one might wear this on its own with these studs that I just have in from free people or I might ditch the necklace even though it pains me and go for earrings and I feel like it'd be too much with all of it but I do adore these puffy heart earrings and it's like a double decker like they have two baby heart and bigger heart gonna put some finishing touches on myself deodorant perfume pack my purse and we are going to an italian restaurant and i'm very excited it's gonna be good my first ever valentine's day guys i'm still not over it i wrote jack a little letter to show you guys you know he told me he's like don't get me anything this holiday is about you but of course i had to write him a card like that's just a very me thing to do so i wrote him a heartfelt little card i had um some pastels and I just used a red pastel and drew these little hearts. I love it. Okay. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Did you make this envelope? I wrote I the drew hearts? Yeah, I drew those. Oh. Pastels. <laughs> Very pretty. Oh, you did the emboss. Of course I did. They look good in the gold vase. I know, it's planning the gold vase. Looks like it's perfect. Gorge. So I just left Sephora. I got what I needed. I got pimple patches and shampoo and some cleansing wipes that I can probably bring to the gym. I will say, oh my God, it was like a battle, like a war zone in there. <laughs> Sephora and Soho after a certain hour is just, oh, speaking of, I'm going into Zara and this should be pretty busy too, so. Okay guys, so it is Saturday morning. I'm getting ready to go uptown, upper west with Jack for brunch. We're going to this place called the Consulate. I'll let you guys know how it is. It's like French American, right by 
the Natural History Museum. So it's like four blocks away. So we're gonna go to brunch slash lunch and then go to the Natural History Museum, which I'm so excited about. We're gonna see the butterfly exhibit, the planetarium, all the bones and rocks and everything that I love to look at, honestly. Like no better way to spend a Saturday than looking at old stuff. <laughs> old stuff is my favorite kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna wear this outfit, I think. I might change my top because it's kind of irking me that this jacket doesn't go, like the sleeves are too long on the sweater. I'm wearing this sweater underneath from Revolve that I just love. It's like the perfect mock neck where it isn't too much of a turtleneck, um, <clears throat> which I love. So I have this on, jeans are J. Crew. And the coat I actually got from this European website that just started shipping to the US. Like they hadn't shipped to the US and now they just started, so I snapped it up. I will say, I guess not anymore, but right when I opened it, it had like a kind of a strange smell, but we're good now. It's like normalized or my perfume is hiding it. Um, I'll probably get it dry cleaned, but I wanna wear it, I'm eager. <laughs> I might just like do it. But yeah, this is the outfit, but again, I might change my top. I think I'm gonna do maybe like a black top. I don't know, guys. I just wish the sleeves weren't, like I feel like the sleeves just look funny, but I do love the coat. I also have this linen trench, the one that I got, the one that I got yesterday from Aritzia that I might opt for. So I think if I wear a black top, I can either go with the Aritzia trench which is so gorgeous. Let me try this on. This is the linen trench that I just love. This is gonna be perfect for spring and just like the rest of my life. Like I think I might, pending the weather, bring this to a few of my European trips I have coming up. Obviously I'm going to London in March, but I'm also going to Paris in May with my friends. The girls are taking Paris. So I think I might bring this on that trip perhaps but in the meantime i could wear it today who knows um, i think i'm just going to change the sweater because it is a really cute sweater and i want to wear it another time today just might not be the day guys for this brownish sweater i think this is brown right or is it taupe but yeah i love the mock neck of it and the sleeves are really fun and like loose which I love on a normal day, but the coat just doesn't go. So we're figuring it out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change my shirt into something a little different and then we're gonna go and have a day. I'm so excited. Okay, update. I changed into a long sleeve black commando turtleneck bodysuit. And of course I got my makeup all over it, but I got it out, which is good. So I'm gonna wear this, I think. And then black ballet flats, so I'm super comfy walking around and probably a black purse. And the sun just came out, that's kind of crazy. Whoa, here she is, okay. <laughs> Where are we? Upper West Side. Upper West Side. Trying to avoid snow drop <laughs> on the tree. <laughs> we need another winter storm or mini blizzard. Yeah, seeing Jeeps makes me miss my car. Say what you said again. Imagine being a bug. Yeah. Imagine being a bug. A bug's life, a shit life. <laughs> it's because we went through. There's kids here. Shh.
Okay guys, it is much later. We had our lovely museum day and now I just came home to change before going out with my girlfriends. We're going to a couple of cocktail bars, We're going to the Roxy, some live jazz to start and then gonna hit the town. I don't know where we're going after that, but I'm ready. So I don't even know what the background's like right now. I feel like there's stuff everywhere, but so here is my ensemble for tonight. This is an interesting situation we have going on underneath here. I paired like a bralette with this completely sheer like lacy bandeau situation just to have like a little pop of lace but still have this like little cropped blazer on top. I actually got this yesterday from Zara when I went on my little shopping spree. Got this perfect little cropped coat. The pants are Good American, of course, my go-to. I think they're called the good legs, I think. I don't remember, I'll link them. But these are incredible. Curvy girls, you need to get these because not only are they super comfy, but they don't have that gap in the back. They fit the curves perfectly and flare out, which just looks so nice on the legs. So I don't know what Khloe Kardashian put into these things, but I used to wear these pretty much religiously on dates in the winter because they're just so, easy and comfy and go with every black shirt you have. So love these. And wearing my Brinker and Eliza pearl necklace, locket necklace again from Valentine's Day. Thought it needed like a little something. And I'm going to put on some red lipstick and a larger coat on top of this that I'll check wherever we go because it is not warm out. It is very cold. So I don't want to freeze to death, but this is going to be like my indoor look. Like I'll wear this all night, this little blazer, obviously, because the top is like kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, these are the boots I'm wearing, these little short boots and the brand. Oh, these are J. Crew. Did not know that. I wear these all over the place. Like I've honestly worn them into the ground because they're the perfect going out boot height, pointed toe but super short so you can dance like all night long in these. And yeah, that is the ensemble. We had a great museum day, so much fun. Like I love a wholesome Saturday followed by drinks with the girls at night. Just the best. So yeah, lipstick needs to happen because I feel like it just needs a little something, this look. Um, but yeah, guys, that is, that's the vlog, I think. My camera is blinking, which means it's gonna die. So I think that's it. I'm definitely going to clean the apartment tomorrow. I'll probably start my next vlog tomorrow, honestly, because I'm feeling like it's gonna be a productive day. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun night. I'll see if I can get some clips out, but if not, this is the end. <laughs> I've done what I can. Uh, but yeah, thank you for being here, everyone. I love that you love the vlogs. I will keep them coming every Monday. Hopefully I can get this up on Monday because I know Monday's a holiday, so hopefully I get it together enough to post this. Fingers crossed, Katie, future Katie, editing Katie, please do the right thing. <laughs> but yeah, okay. And just like that, another vlog in the books. <laughs>